Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sarnet Television. We're going to take a look at a brand new light bar from Whelan Engineering in Chester, Connecticut. It is their new 2010 series light bar. And we're very privileged and we're very thankful for the folks at Whelan to have allowed us to take a first look at this bar. It's so hush hush that we actually do not have technical specs up on the website. We will be getting them up as they become available. There's undoubtedly going to be some changes also coming with this bar in the not too distant future as this project evolves. But it's pretty exciting what they're up to in relation to the Liberty Light Bar series and the new 2010. The bar itself, as I said, is a Liberty Bar. This switch box, as you can see here, relates to this particular bar being used as a demo unit at a particular trade show. But essentially, it looks like a Liberty Bar, but it has some very interesting differences. Of course, in the center area, we have LED takedowns. And of course, on the corners here, we also have LED alley lights. What is interesting about this particular corner module is that this happens to be an 18 diode module, as opposed to some of the other modules that the Liberties have come with in the past. So more LEDs in the outboard area to give you a stronger kick as you enter that intersection. On the back of the bar, there are modules, as you can see, and inside these modules are a total of 12 LEDs. And those LEDs give you some of the interesting flash patterns that this particular bar can, in fact, set up. As I turn on the front, I'll whiz it around this way real quick. As you can see right now, the front of the bar is firing away quite happily, and you're getting your red and blue mix. So you get to decide depending on how you configure this bar, what type of configuration you want. You might decide that you don't want to have any red in it, so straight away. It can be an all blue light bar, if that's what takes your fancy. Otherwise, let's make it all red. Why not? Again, this is a very interesting option that's available with the new 2010 series bar from Whelan Engineering. The back of the bar, I'm going to spin it around again. It's not a helicopter, it's just a display stand. At the back of the bar, we can uh, turn on, as I endeavor to do it blindfolded, there we go. You can actually see here, again, the red and blue configuration. Throw in a little amber. So you've got red and blue, or you can have amber in the bar as well. So three different color options are available in the rear of the light bar, depending on how you want to set it up. Again, a standard traffic arrow function is available. Traffic arrow function has been available within the Liberty since it first started. But the big factor about this particular bar is you can actually have different colors in the same module housing. So a tremendous advantage in relation to the particular product in the 2010 bar. Again, the same options apply to the front and to the rear. You can have, of course, the bar being all red or all blue if you decide you want to do that. And again, as I said earlier, the diodes on the outboard units in this particular bar are in fact 18. And the inboard diodes right now are running at 12. Basically, another interesting factor about the new 2010 series bar from Whelan Engineering is at the top of the bar, as you can see here, you've got your aluminum extrusion as you would normally have within the Liberty. However, there are in fact no mounting bolts on the top of this bar. From an accessibility point of view, you would remove the end cap, and then inside here are two additional screws, one on either end, two up here, and two down here, that basically hold the roof of the light bar in place. So from a servicing point of view, you don't necessarily have to try and climb on top of things as you used to have to do. Now take the end cap off, and you can get access to the bar by removing these set of screws here and of course the other set of screws down the back end. Unfortunately the people at Whelan have told me I can't disassemble it. Sorry, you know me, I'd like to. But anyway, interesting factor with the new 2010 series bar. So there you have it, Whelan Engineering's brand new 2010 series light bar and we're really honored here at Siren.com to get a first look. I'm Stuart and you've been watching Siren Television.